I first noticed that my hair had fallen out when I was on a family holiday and I didn't think it was alopecia. I just thought I'd brush my hair too aggressively. Anyway, where my hair had come out, I then realized it wasn't growing back again. And so my mother took me to the doctor and then they said it could have been a side effect from going on the contraceptive pill. I had no idea that that was something that could happen from taking the pill. Obviously I came straight off it, but I then was reading something and it's, I think it was something like one in 500 women can get it from going on the contraceptive pill. It's common and I think actually after I spoke about it, so many girls messaged me saying my, I had the exact same thing the second I went on the pill my hair fell out. I started losing more in different places and then it would grow back and then it would fall out. I never lost all my hair and my the patches I had were never like huge. I mean, I thought I managed to cover it up quite well, but there were, there was sort of, it was like a 50p or 2p size sort of, of holes. When it sort of didn't grow back and then I lost more in other places and my hair just started getting very thin, I sort of, that's when I started getting upset about it. Like when I was initially told, I was like, oh, it's fine. I'll just put a hat on or whatever. Um, but it was, the longer it went on and the worse it got, the more I started to panic a bit and just, feel very self-conscious and I think it wasn't obvious to anyone else but then a few people made a few comments at times like I was babysitting these kids once and they're like oh what's wrong with that and pointed at my head and I was like my god is it that obvious and so stuff like that then started to slightly unnerve me I guess it's hard because it sort of came and went I haven't had the same bald patch the whole 10 years it sort of was different areas so I guess initially my way of dealing with it was to cover it up or do whatever I could to not make it obvious so whether that's dyeing my hair hair extensions all that sort of stuff and then now Luckily, it's all I have for the first time ever. All my hair has come back and I don't have any issues with it. But I think once I spoke about it uh, on Made in Chelsea, it made it a lot better. Because I think prior to that, people just thought I had weird hair. And <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain that. People just thought, I, well, I did my hair really badly or there was something I don't know, wrong with it. I'm so glad I did actually talk about it because at the time I was quite nervous and I was like, oh God, what are people going to say? But the feedback I had was amazing. And also what actually made me feel better about it is so many younger girls saying that they're going through the same thing. They're so glad I spoke about it. Because when I was younger, I, don't, I really hadn't, it wasn't common. Like it wasn't something I'd ever really spoken about or anything like that. But I think everyone has this idea of the way we all need to look. I think for younger girls, it's so important that they need to know that's not how you have to look and you know whether you've got bad skin or your hair falls out or whatever it is like that's actually not an issue it's not a problem and it's nothing that actually should be looked at in a negative light like we're all meant to be different we're not all meant to look the same and all have like the same thick long hair i think everyone has a warped idea of what we all should be looking like and that i really don't like and i don't know if that's got worse over time with instagram cosmetic surgery and all that sort of stuff what's hard when you're younger is everyone cares about the way you look they don't really care about what's on the inside and i've learned over the years all those girls who were at school who were the really fit ones they are boring as sin now i'm telling you that and I think, I honestly like, your personality can make you a very attractive person or a very unattractive person, not the amount of hairs that you have in your head, so.